For me, sound is actually quite a sculptural thing. When you're working in sculpture, sculpture is um, striving to embody movement or um, gestures of movement. You know, like if you look at sculpture even from a hundred years ago, it's kind of about getting something solid as, you know, like a monument or a or even a, you know, a, a small scale sculpture that sits on the mantelpiece to, to embody some kind of movement or energy. So the plan is to have a series of uh, sensors um, placed around the environment under the bridge where the speakers are so that the people will walk through and the sensors will pick up their movements, the speed they're walking, um, even um, the mass they're taking up, so how big they are, um, how long they actually stay in a certain area or the space they're walking in will, will, will affect um, what combinations of these loops are put together. There's music, um, you know, which I've always um, been involved in since I was a kid, and then it kind of at some stage gets to a soundscape or gets to sound art, and um, there's a really blurry line there. You know, it's something pretty new for people, and um, some people, I guess, respond to it um, favourably because it's something new and fresh, but I guess some people um, are kind of looking for music, you know, so, well, this kind of isn't really not going anywhere, you know, and, um, you know, people have trouble grabbing onto it. So I guess I want, um, with this installation, I think um, people just have open ears and, and try to take off what they know about music and, um, and what they, um, you know, have previously experienced and, and just to experience it. And then, um, you know, if that twinges as this is sound art or this is a soundscape, then that's fantastic. It would be good for um, th that to be, you know, more um, available in our, in our community in our spaces and I think it will be through projects like this. We get used to public space as the kind of backdrop to our, our daily journeys and, and, and you know especially in the city there seems to be a lot of um, dead spaces that people probably don't um, ever, ever really take the time to um, you know experience those spaces they just walk through them so I think I think the role of public art is to is to bring bring the public and the space that they're in into a new relationship. <laughs>